I just minded my own business. I was not like ha lesbian. <laughs> So growing up I had only seen heterosexual couples my whole life beat my friends family siblings people around me I remember watching um Disney Channel shows like Hannah Montana Wizards of Waverly Place Miley Cyrus having crushes on high school boys Bollywood movies like Ajay Prem ki Azab Kahani you know Ranveer Kapoor having a crush on Katrina Kaif I used to dream about my own love story you know like how I am going to fall in love with a boy once I grow up and the idea of being in a heterosexual relationship felt like a fairy tale but I came across the idea of homosexuality through a friend. I don't know from where she learned it, but she came and told me that a boy and a boy can be romantically involved. The first reaction of mine was disgust. Although I did not know much about sex at the time, I still questioned how they can be together naturally. Like a woman is supposed to give birth. How is the guy going to give birth? Adoption exists. <laughs> but I did not consider that and I think the reason why we were so disgusted is because it was an alien idea a very new concept and people are usually scared of things that they don't know about and fast forward to 11th grade this girl in my class came out as a lesbian personally i did not have much of a reaction because i was not that close to that person i just minded my own business i was not like ha lesbian <laughs> I just uh, did my own thing. One day, their best friend came up to me and told me that, "Hey, let's let's name that girl Nana. Nana's best friend came up to me and told me that, 'Hey, um, just want to let you know that Nana wants you to know that she has a crush on you.'" And my first reaction was that I was flattered when I got to know about it because you know any type of validation works for sixteen-year-old Ria. <laughs> and I did not know what my sexuality was back then. I still. have not been able to figure that out yet but there was also this level of discomfort because i did not like them back and you know usually when you don't like a guy back and that guy keeps like um chasing you you feel you feel uncomfortable but the discomfort that i felt in this particular scenario was a bit different and i knew that it came from a place of internalized homophobia i wanted to get rid of it like in my head i wanted to be accepting but still i don't know why i just could not so thanks to new age pop culture a lot of my favorite youtubers uh, specifically youtubers that i had a crush on started coming out for example shane dawson came out as bisexual conor franta came out as gay and social media in general started getting more inclusive of people from the lgbtq plus community along with that a lot of bollywood movies um, for example ek ladki ko dekha to aisa laga um, shubh mangal zyada saavdhan and even call me by your name which is my one of my favorite movies of all time you know watching these movies kind of helped me normalize the idea of homosexuality in my head that's why representation in pop culture and media matters so much because if me and my friend had seen call me by your name back then in 7th grade I think it would not have been such an alien concept to us rather just an everyday occurrence. In India, I think we still have a long way to go when it comes to having discussions on such topics, but at least we have started talking about it and I hope it only gets better from here. So if you want to watch more episodes of Dirty Talk then click here and write down in the comment section tell us what your opinion on representation in pop culture is